this is an Ikea Rost nightstand. They don't make these anymore. I wish I had actually filmed this part before I did all the work and put this in here, but I'm going to add this to the beginning of the video anyways. Um, you can find these on eBay. I got the idea from, I don't know, some Ikea Hacks website. If I can figure out where I got this idea from, I will certainly link it in the description. Um, but it works out perfectly as a studio rack, as you can see. It's just the, exactly the right length. It's, it's almost like they were thinking of us. I've had this forever, and today I'm gonna use these to make it into a studio equipment rack. I've already got this one made by Munster in Rhode Island. This is a handmade studio equipment rack, uh, and it really contains all the stuff that I already have to rack. Look at that, look at that craftsmanship. It's great, you should check him out. He's on Reverb, and he's got a website. I'll put a link in the comments and on the video. Right now, this is the only thing that's going into this rack, this Proteus II orchestral synth rack unit by Emu Systems. They're out of business. This thing is uh, needs some repair, but whatever. I'm gonna put it in this rack when I make it. Okay, let's see what I got here first. Uh, I got these Gator. Is this a Gator? Yes, it is. Glad I said the right one. Gator Rack Works. Two 6U rack rails. Let's see what's in the package. I sure hope there's some screws, otherwise we're going to be screwed indeed. And there are not. Okay, I'll have to find something to attach these with. And then we've got some Gator Rack Works rack screws. Won't need a whole lot of these yet. Boop. All right, let's go find some screws. All right, let's make some marks here and hopefully I'm not going to stand in my own way in this video. Okay, fits in just about perfectly. Can you see that? I can't see it on the side. You'll see the other side. Okay, let's mark where we want to screw this in. Hold on. Now I just need to find my screwdriver. Not in here. Let's see. Kitayo! Right. Oh, wait a minute, I think I know where it is. Is that it? Is that it? Yes, there it is. Let's get it. This guy, um, where are we at here? Got it. There we go. Let's go to the other side for good measure. So I'm recording it. There we go. Got it. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Fresh. Now, I'm going to make the holes and hopefully my big head won't get in the way. It probably will. And here we go. Here, no, 
and we've got it in there. Look at that. Here comes the moment of the truth. It's okay. Looks about like what I expected from myself. Now I'm going to put Emu Proteus II Orchestral in here to test this guy. Alright, I am actually here for putting in there. I'm actually in the process of ordering some parts for this, so I'm not going to be super concerned about being able to hook it up. Oh, the power, the power supply and everything right now. I'm kind of trying to fix this one still. Okay, so we're having we need four of these, yes. This we have installed six U racks, six U rack rails in here, and we've got a one U cent unit, so. Look at that. There she is, the finished product. And it looks like this will serve its purpose well. I don't have anything else to rack here. Now this just gives me to, um, an excuse to buy more junk that I don't really need. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. Hearing me curse and be annoyed and be generally clumsy. Um, maybe the next video will be a little more music related and less me making a mess. Take care. Bye-bye. So thanks for watching me be awkward, and if you want to yell at me in the comments or tell me how terrible I am or tell me how great I am, probably the minority of you, uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.